Hey, Garrett Brill and Don Casey here. It's been quite a while since we've done one of these, I know, um, you know, but here now we have a new release of a drone from Autel, and this just has to come back and we have to start doing this again. We're pretty excited about this one. So just what you see on the table here, this is the Autel Evo 2 Duo. A lot of agencies are flying this already. They know about it. Um, this is the, the Evo Tool 2 Enterprise. And of course, these are smart controllers. Now, before we get started, I want to spend, send out a very special thank you to Granite Defense that provided this unit, this enterprise unit for testing, and also to Firecam that provided this unit, this, uh, this uh, smart controller that connects to the older Evo 2 for testing. It's always very, very, very much appreciated. Um, I like to really recognize companies that want to send out their equipment to be tested and field tested and out in the field so that we know, they know that their equipment can be purchased confidently by public safety and not just throwing it to them and saying, you know, I hope this works. It's just a, a product that we're, we have. They wanna know that their stuff really works. So on with that, I'm gonna go over just a few things about the aircraft. I'm actually going to slide this one to the side for now. And I wanna talk just a few things. So we're gonna, we plan on doing a lot of testing on this but in the meantime, I wanna, I've just been looking at this, as many of you know, I'm a, a aerospace engineer. And so I look over things like this and I'd like to look and pick apart the engineering that goes into this. And when Don brought this over, so Don got his hands on this first, and when he brought this over, the very first thing that I noticed was these true airfoils that are made of carbon fiber. You can, you can see them there, they are airfoils on the back slightly tilted to go along with the rotors, but they're true airfoils, truly made out of carbon fiber. Absolutely beautiful job there. This is what I've been saying all along that these manufacturers need to make to increase the uh, efficiency and, and optimize the flight characteristics of this thing. The other thing you might notice is this thing has longer rotors, longer rotors, extended the arms and the rotors, and it also has larger motors, and I noticed that it has increased cooling capacity. Um, all that spells better performance in the air for both um, you know, power, uh, longevity of flight, and, and uh, just overall performance. But we're gonna put all that stuff to the test, and you're gonna see, um, you know, one thing you might notice on this one is that, that it already has the Evo 2 gimbal on it, the, the thermal, the dual gimbal, I'm sorry, the dual gimbal on it. And uh, Don was able to swap that out. We're gonna make a tutorial video on that later on how to do that. But beautiful thing about this is that if you have the Evo 2 Dual and you wanna to go to Enterprise, you get to keep your thermal camera. So it's, they actually made it backwards compatible and you in your shop can swap out your own gimbal, your, your gimbal from your previous one to it. Um, as you can see though, they did a great job. Um, there's a lot of things on here that we wanna test. The other thing you might notice on the Enterprise is that it has an attachment. And one of the things that I noticed right away is this little thing on top, it's actually more flexible to where it's easier to get off. But these are some of the attachments. It has this um, two, a dual speaker, loudspeaker that attaches onto there. And then of course, has a spotlight. And then there's also a, a strobe that everybody's kind of familiar with um, that goes on there as well. And we're gonna put all that stuff to the test, quantify the results, and get it back to you. So I'm gonna power this on. I'm gonna let Don talk to you a little bit about the smart controller over here. And we'll go ahead and power this thing back on. Let Don speak a little bit about that. All right, thanks, Garrett. So one thing I immediately like about the smart controller is the large display, right? That's one of the things that we've been looking for and at other smart controllers, we would get those little dinky displays and you know which ones I'm talking about, right? So this thing has got an absolutely large display. It is, it, basically, I think this is about the size of a uh, full-size uh, crystal sky. Um, so this is a display that we've been looking for in a smart controller for, I think, for a long time. It's very responsive, very fast. This thing boots up, boots up quickly, gets into the app and allows you to, to get the aircraft in the air with as little time as possible. Um, like I said, I love the, the grip on this thing. It, it's absually a, a dream to hold in the case you can kind of see on the back of the controller. 
you got these this grip that is removable if you don't want that script you can take it off um, it has got a nice fan on this thing so you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about um, you know this thing being outside um, if it's hot especially Texas uh, in Texas we have very hot summers here and this thing can take that uh, with that cooling and you can use this outdoors um, we actually kind of use this outdoors a little bit today just kind of took it outside it is very bright the screen is 2000 nit so if you're outside in the sun you, do, you don't have to worry about this thing getting washed out by the sun it's just a really great controller as you can see we also we got these these antenna um, you know we've done we've done we've had a little bit of initial testing just nothing really really on point yet but we're already seeing huge increases huge uh, increases in the range and also we're not getting a lot of the artifacts uh, we're flying this thing so we'll wait for the, the for the quantity uh, the actual testing to kind of uh, quantify that between the original controller and the smart controller but I think you guys if you decide to get this you're gonna be very pleased with it uh, you know what one of the things that I noticed right away is whenever I pick this up this is a solid piece of equipment um, you know the one of the big complaints originally about the Autel flight of the controller that came out with the Autel originally was that that felt like a toy. It felt like a video game controller. This thing is beefy. I mean, this this is solid. Um, there is nothing that moves or flexes. This is just just a solid piece. The other thing that I noticed is that these wheels are, are they feel really good in your hand. They don't they don't uh, as you can see. I'm kind of zooming in there on it. What that's what one of those wheels does. But anyway, they, they, the whole thing feels good and solid. It does not feel like a toy or like a video game controller like the original one did. Okay, with that, we this is pretty much where we're at. We're just uh, starting to look at this thing, starting to do it again. We want to get all this testing done and get this information into your ears so that you can make informed decisions as to, as to whether or not this is a good fit for your agency. Just want to run over real quick a few things that we're going to test on this. Um, we're going to test the flight time. We want to test the acoustic signature, the signal range, signal penetration. We want to um, test, we want to compare, uh, because a lot of people are familiar with the Autel, um, I mean, sorry, the DJI smart controller. We want to compare the DJI smart controller to the Autel smart controller. Um, we want to test the lifting capacity. Again, this thing has new larger motors and rotors. So let's see what this thing can lift compared to the old one. Uh, we're going to test the spotlight and the loudspeaker, let you know uh, how many lumens and how many decibels. Then take a look at the strobe. Um, we're going to do, like I mentioned in the beginning, we're going to do a change of the gimbal, more of a tutorial so that if you already have the Evo 2 Dual you can and you choose to upgrade to the Enterprise, you can buy the 6K and then put your gimbal that you've already purchased onto that platform. Um, and again, uh, one of the things, as Don had mentioned, we really want to quantify how well this smart controller performs in the environments, whether it be, you know, rain and sunlight. Of course, sunlight's the big thing here in Texas. But, you know, just overall, how's it performing the heat? How's it performing the sunlight and everything else? So anyway, hope to get some te more testing videos out to you soon. And... Uh, Hope this helps you and we'll talk to you later.